This is just freshly harvested water lettuce and duckweed, all fresh water. And what I do is I rinse it off pretty good in fresh water and then just put it in the salt water and then grind it up a little bit and I'll show you how the fish accept it in their tanks. They absolutely love it. So water lettuce and duckweed. It's look at its long roots. It's such a great filter plant. And the more it has to eat, the faster it grows. The more it has to eat, the more it will grow. Okay, I'm gonna wash it out with fresh water. I let it sit in the fresh water for just a little bit just to make sure if there's any bugs or worms or anything on it that they fall off of it. I ran this fresh water through the strainer to get all the fresh water out and to keep the algae separate. And it's really kind of interesting because when I looked at the bottom of the fresh water bowl, there's all these little tiny snails in there. And it's a good thing I did it this way or they would have all been crushed up with all the algae. Duckweed, water lettuce, and yum, 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 yum to the fishies. Don't know if we're going to get it clear enough that you can see these little tiny itty bitty snails. That was all over on the plants. And so it was really good to separate them the way that we did. Don't want to kill anybody. They all have an important job to keep our ecosystem in balance. And they need every single bit of help they can get. This is my bowl of salt water, and I'm going to pull the, pour this strainer of fresh water lettuce and duckweed right into the salt water. And then I'm going to take my little mixer up here and make a mess. Watch it pour it all over me and just blend it all up. Maybe. I gotta put this down because I need two hands to do it. I'll be right back. It's hard to let one go, but... As long as I know they're going into good hands and a warm heart, I'll let them go.